I think what you're asking is that uh, do we use just a specific car, right? A certain kind of car? Yeah, there is a certain um, kind of car that we use because it has to meet some regulations. Uh, it has to be big enough in the back to accommodate uh, all, all size people, you know. Uh, people have to uh, be able to have lots of leg room, right? Uh, it has to be comfortable. Um, it has to be a durable car because it's used all the time, so it has to be really strong. So it's, 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 it's got to be a really good car, fast car, like with a nice big engine, you know, so it works really well all the time. Um, so the, the city gives us a specific uh, list of the cars that are supposed to be used. Like, of every day when you guys work here, like, how much technology do you guys really have inside one taxi cab? We have the CB radio. We have the MDC for the orders, and you have the uh, taxi meter. That's the equipment that we put into every car. How, how come when, how did they know that, that one of those incoming calls on the thing comes? We break up the city into areas, and we number those areas. And uh, he has to drive around booking into those areas, so he punch in the, the, the area he wants to book in, and he'll send it to the computer. The computer will register that he's in that area and that he's waiting for a call. We're going up to the radio communications center to see how they get the cab. This is uh, where the drivers come in. They rent cars. Okay, We have a bunch of cars that the company owns. And uh, a driver will come and he will hire the car. All right, He comes in and uh, we have a rental agreement. That means that they pay a price for, for a day's work or a week's work or a month's work, depending on what the uh, arrangement is. So they, they come here and they pay for their car. And they go out and they try to make some money. And they, you know, they come back and they pay for their dues, which is what the, the cash and receives to use the car. This is the GPS screen. This is the one that shows us where all the cars are in the city. As you can see on the, on the map, that's the map of Toronto. What you're seeing here, this yellow line at the top here, that's the 401, Highway 401. I'm sure you know that street, yeah, right? I've been on <laughs> sure everybody has. Long, it's the busiest street in North America. It is? Yes, it is. And so this one here, this is the Don Valley Parkway. That's one. And down here, this is the Lakeshore. So all, all this in here is really just water and lake. And what you're seeing, all those cars there, these are all the cars that have booked onto our system and are ready for orders. Uh, this system will track them around the city. How have taxis evolved over the years? Taxi business back in the day, like back in like, let's say like 1950 through 1970, was a pretty uh, risky business. It was um, a very seedy business. A lot of uh, people cheating people and um, uh, uh, it's a lot of competition between drivers and um, what it's become is a much more um, safer profession. Um, there's safety matters that we take so that you know people aren't getting robbed, the drivers don't get robbed and, and it's um, a much more fair system. How much taxis have those kind of safety windows things where and why do they have those yeah, safety windows? We don't have taxi, what we call taxi shields. You've probably seen maybe in the movies before, um, like in New York and that, that they have these shields where the passenger has to pass money through the little hole, right? We don't have those. And, and one of the reasons we don't have these is um, that the city of Toronto uh, did not want um, our cars to look like um, people were um, suspect of, of, of doing you know, bad things. Um, uh, we wanted our cars, to, we want, Toronto wanted all their cars to look nice and we wanted it to be a, a friendly atmosphere. When you have a piece of glass between a driver and yourself, it's kind of like separating, you know, like you don't really feel like you're, you know, and you feel like you're being like put in the back of a, of a police car. <laughs> Thank you for being, coming and having your time with us of Alpha News. And I say thank you to you, Gary. Thank you, Mark. You are a nice by. man. Thank you. So are you. Thanks for coming by, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little tour here. Oh, yeah.